Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will try to find the equation of a line using two points. So, for the series of topics that we have for this video, is that we will try to find the equation of the line given first the two points. At sa mas susunod natin video, may ano pa tayong ibang pag-usapan on how to find the equation of the line. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, what we have here is this formula. This formula is called 2.4. 2.4. This is the form na gagamitin natin if we have two given ordered pairs of points to find the equation of a line. So our formula is y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. In this formula, uh, ito yung mga variables natin. We have the variable y and the variable x. While the other here ay magagaling dito. So let's start. Number 1, we will find the equation of the line through negative 2, negative 3, and negative 1, comma 2. Ang ibig sabihin nito guys, is that yung hahanapin nating equation of the line ay dumadaan sa points na negative 2, negative 3, and negative 1, comma 2. So how to use this? We will label this one as x sub 1, then y sub 1. This is your x sub 2, then y sub 2. So ang gagawin natin dito, use this formula. We will substitute y sub 1 here. Copy mo na natin yung y. You have y is minus your y sub 1, which is negative 3. Since, since negative to, ilagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis, which is negative 3, is equal to y sub 2. Your y sub 2 here, eh? please follow the formula. Your y sub 2 is equal to 2 minus your y sub 1, which is negative 3, parenthesis ulit, negative 3, over x sub 2, which is negative 1, minus x sub 1 that is negative 2 parenthesis ulit and then times x minus your x sub 1 which is negative 2 so we will use a parenthesis here minus 2 or negative 2 close natin so simplify muna natin to guys whenever you're encountering negative a minus and then a negative integer you can multiply it it will become positive so we have now y plus 3 is equal to here 2, copy natin 2, the negative times negative is positive so it will become plus 3 over negative 1 negative times negative is positive so this is plus 2 and for this one we have x negative times negative is positive so x plus so what we need to do here before we start start this, we will try to simplify first this fraction. So we will copy y plus 3 is equal to 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 over negative 1 plus 2 that is 1 times x plus 2. So ang target natin dito ngayong form for the final answer ay yung a slope intercept form. We will try to rewrite the equation in this form y is equal to mx plus b. Ayun yung target natin. Okay? I know na you are familiar with this kasi ito yung ating slope intercept form. Di ba meron tayong standard form? Ang gagawin natin ngayon dito, yung final answer natin, we will rewrite it as y is equal to mx plus b. So, what we need to do is that we will sim simplify this. Yung 5 over 1 natin, guys, ah, don't be confused. Your 5 over 1 will become 5 because that is 5 divided by 1. So what we need here is to use distributive property to multiply it. You have y plus 3 is equal to 5 times x. That is 5x. Then, 
another 5 times 2 that is equal to plus 10. Now, for us to achieve this, kailangan natin may lipat sa kabila yung positive 3. So, to make it quick, we will do transposition method. So, we can have y. So, what we have y eh, is equal to 5x plus 10. Then, since this one is positive, when you transpose this to the other side, it will become negative 3. Okay? So, to finalize our, our, our answer in this form, you have your y is equal to 5x plus 7. And this is now the slope-intercept form of the equation obtained when we use these two points to find the equation of a linear equation. Now guys, ito siya. Bakit mas magandang gawin ganito yung mismo na? yung mismo equation natin instead of the standard form na ax plus by is equal to c. Kapag meron kasing y is equal to mx plus b na form, you can easily identify the value of the slope and the y-intercept. Karamihan sa mga exams, they're asking for the slope and the y-intercept. Okay? So let's try item number 2 for you to practice more about this topic. So try natin ha. Using the two-point form again, Lagyan muna natin label, this is your x sub 1, y sub 1, this is your x sub 2, and this is your y sub 2. So what we have here is this. y, copy your variable y, y muna tayo ah, kunti-unti natin minus your y sub 1, which is equal to 1, so y minus 1 lang yan, is equal to, ayun na, we have there y sub 2 minus y sub 1, your y sub 2 is negative 3 minus your y sub 1 which is 1 over your x sub 2 which is 0 minus your x sub 1 which is negative 3. So we will use parenthesis dito eh? negative 3 times x minus x sub 1. So we have x which is x minus your x sub 1 which is negative 3. So we will enclose it by, by parentheses since this is negative. Now simplify natin. Here, on the left side, what we need to do is to just copy this one. Y minus 1 lang. Ito naman, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 over 0. 0 na yun, eh? Negative times negative is positive 3. Okay? So we have here 3. Or negative 3. Oh, sorry, positive 3 here times x negative times negative guys this is positive so plus 3 so what's next here is this we will try to multiply it first okay using the distributive property negative 4 over 3 times x that is copy mo pula natin to y minus 1 is equal to this one we have negative 4x over 3. Ito naman, multiply natin itong negative 4 over 3 natin dito. As you can see, kapag nagamit tayo ng another, another space dito, when you multiply negative 4 over 3 by 3, makapansin nyo, we can cancel this out. So bakit po? We have negative 4 times 3 over 3. Cancel na yan. So what we have is simply negative 4. Okay? But we're not yet done guys. Kasi ang target natin is transform our final equation in y is equal to mx plus b. So we will do transpose this negative 1 to the other side of the equation. Remember ha, this is negative so it will become positive on the other side. It will become y is equal to negative 4x over 3 minus 4 then from negative plus 1 ito na lang simplify natin you have now y is equal to negative 4 x over 3 negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 and this is now the final equation of the line passing through negative 3 comma 1 
and 0, negative 3. So guys, para sa inyong, ano, sa inyong practice, I will give you an item wherein I hope nasagutan nyo siya and then sana um, sana you can put sa ating comment section yung mismong yung mismong answer nyo. Okay lang po ba? So, okay, let's try. Try natin ha. Let's try some examples here. Okay. Let's try this one. We have 0, negative 2. Let's try... Burayin ko lang to, guys. Ah, dito nila. For number 3, here are the given points. We have 0, we have 0, number 3, we have 0, comma, negative 2, and we have 4, ah, sorry, not 4, we have 3, comma, 4. So, I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to find the equation of a line given two points and using the two-point form. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!